Hello. Hi. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Uh, so I have got your profile for evaluation. I will be checking your coding skills in Java. Okay. Okay. So I will be asking you a question, uh, and I want to you to solve that question using Java coding skills. Okay. Sure. So you might have heard about the Java pattern and the matcher classes. I want you to do a pattern matching using regular expressions. And I will just give you a scenario. The scenario is something like this. You will search a input string in a particular destination. And even if the data is case sensitive, you have to ignore that and you have to find a correct match. So for that, you have to use the pattern and the matcher classes in java.regex. Okay. Okay. So yes, go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. I am going to start now. Um, first, uh, let me just create a new file here. I am going to create a new Java file. Let us name this file as, um, as the question said, uh, I need to find the pattern. So let's say, I'll say pattern match. I'm creating this class called pattern match. And in this pattern match, let me quickly just create our uh, main method inside our main method i'm just going to directly use the pattern class so as we can see java.util.regex so here i'm going to use this i'm going to first create an object of this pattern class say let's say pattern p or i'll say equals to and directly use the dot compile method which is inside the pattern class and i'm going to just input any string uh as the question said as sir said that i need to pass any input string and then i need to check it from the uh, later input okay so let me say a uh, basic uh, example text i'm say searching so we will check this after this i can i'm going to match this through matcher class so i'm going to create the object of matcher class matcher m equals to i'll say um the object p because i need to match it with the object p right so i'll say p dot i'll say matcher and let us give some input here i am going to give some random input as i am searching so in this uh if i just uh match right now it won't match because uh here s is capital here s is small so we'll see to that later on first to, to take the output and see the output is visible on the screen i'll create a boolean variable called boolean i'll say the variable name as match and uh, equals to i say m dot i'll say fine so what it is going to do is through this matcher class i am going to uh, find the match between this pattern p and matcher m method okay and after this i am going to just uh, uh, directly print so system dot out dot print ln i'm going to just directly say match now after this um we need to check for two conditions right to check one condition if the match is met then we will print correct match otherwise it will print mismatch so i'm going to create a conditional statement right away and i'm going to pass this match variable right away and here in this case i'm going to just print system dot out dot print ln i'm going to say just correct match and inside the else part I can just directly say system dot out dot print ln. I can say mismatched. So this way uh, it is going to print. So for example, right now if I run my code, it is going to say false, mis mismatched. Why? Because here s is capital and here s is small. But if I make s as capital here, for example, right now. I am going to run this code and it says correct match true. So it, my program is working fine. But as the sir said in the, in the question that I can't use the exact same string. I need to match two different, um, 
characters a string for example the upper character and lower character it should print true because we are just checking the pattern so for that i can just add one thing right in this line pattern p equals to pattern dot compile searching where my original string is present i can just say comma and i can directly call the pattern class pattern and i can directly use this method called case insensitive and this way it is going to no matter it is uh, either a capital letter or a small letter it is going to still match and when i run this code it is going to print correct match so this is how it is going to be done from my side as of now yes i have got this sir i hope you have understood what i have done here uh, this is it from my side yeah it is good to go i have got it so thank you for your time i evaluated you yeah my team will get back to you thank you thank you sir thank you